everybody, how's it going? My name is Lauren Bateman and welcome to my studio. And today we're going to talk about um, a very popular song, Come As You Are by Nirvana. And we're just going to go over the, the tab for this. And the reason I start with just some simple tab is, if you can imagine doing a whole chord, you're moving a lot of your fingers around and a lot of beginners don't have the dexterity yet to really jump into chords and start strumming and, um, and playing cool songs right at the beginning. So what we do is we develop some hand dexterity by going over some simple tablature. So one of the ones we'll go over right now today is Nirvana's Come As You Are, and it's fairly simple. We're just going to use the top two bass strings, that would be your E string up at the top here, the thick one, and then the one string below that, the fifth string. So what we're going to do is I'm going to tell you what fret we're going to play. So if I say zero, you're going to play the string open with nothing. If I say one, you're going to play the first fret. And all these spaces in between these metal bars are called frets. Now when you fret each string, you want to place your finger and push it in close to this metal bar. If you push it all the way back here, it's going to be really tough to push. You really need a lot more energy to push back there. So we want to try to fret the string as close to the metal fret as possible. So for this tab, what we're going to do is we're going to start on the first string, and the first four notes are on the sixth string, this top string, and it's going to be zero, zero, one, two. So wh whenever I say one, use your first finger. And whenever I say two, use your second finger. Just coincidence. So we're going to go zero, zero, one, two on the first string. So that's just the first notes. Then we're going to keep our second finger down on this top string and we're going to go down to the fifth string and play that open. And then we're going to come back to the sixth string, back to the fifth, and then back to the sixth. So basically we've played zero on the fifth string, two on the sixth string, zero on the fifth string, and then two again on the sixth string. So those, two, those four notes we just did should sound like this. So the whole part should sound good. Now, we're, again, we're going to do kind of a downward walk on this top string. We're going to hit the second fret again, then the first fret on the sixth string, and then open. So it's going to be two, one, zero on the top string. Then we're going to put our second finger, this is the first time and only time we're going to, well, yeah, the only time we're going to move to the fifth string. So we're going to put our second finger on the fifth string, play that note, play the sixth string twice, open, and then go back to the fifth string with your second finger. So the whole thing is going to sound like this, zero, zero, one, two, zero, two, zero, two, say on the sixth string, two, one, zero, move your second finger down to the fifth string, two, open E string, zero, zero, back to the fifth string, two, so like this. few times really slow break it up into the small sections like we said the first four notes zero zero one two get that then add the next four then add then just try the second half which is the two one zero two open open two so we got two parts now and then the second part try and connect them together. And that is your basic first tab for Nirvana's Come As You Are. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Um, if you found that difficult, that's okay. It, it can be frustrating at first, especially if you've never played an instrument before. Your hands, this is really foreign to you, so a lot of it's muscle memory. Um, and just getting your fingers used to first
playing on metal strings, and two, pushing in hard enough and that, you know, so that you're not muting the strings. But just take your time with it, and eventually you'll be able to play it quick enough and fast enough so that it'll sound just like the song, and you'll be able to play along. So thanks for listening, and if you want some more tabs, we got a couple more lessons to, to get your fingers working, and I uh, hope to see you back soon.